a group of local children is learning about science in a unique way. They sent a balloon way up into the atmosphere, and the balloon's incredible trip was captured on video. CBS News' Elijah Westbrook reports. Well, there you go, perfect. It's a massive feat of engineering, and its designers are these young scientists from East Harlem's Taft Houses. They're building a high-altitude balloon. Their goal is to launch it as far as space. Sometimes it's the things that you least expect that are the most impactful. Richard Habesham is the president and founder of Solutions Now, who also sent us these clips of the building process. The program is a nonprofit he started in 2020 with the goal of exposing young underserved NYCHA children to STEM and outdoor experimental programs. Solutions Now embarked on an ambitious project in collaboration with these young minds from Taft Houses, its residents association plus leaders from City College. The mission of Solutions Now is to figure out how do we bring a community together with all the talent that we have. And it's that sense of community which helped him land a partnership with balloon hobbyist John Garache, who was spearheading a high altitude balloon experiment. We're actually ready to go. The children decided to attach some ordinary items like gummy bears and marshmallows to a platform on the balloon, adding a lesson to see how altitude impacts these everyday things. This has been a latex. Latex, yep, it's latex. It's similar to your party balloons except a whole lot bigger so when it's on the ground and we fill it up it, it gets to about nine feet in diameter okay. and as it goes up there's less and less air pressure pushing in okay. and uh, eventually gets to about 40 feet in diameter and then there'll be another camera right here nearly a month of planning went into the experiment before this small group of kids traveled by bus to somers westchester county to test it out Two, one. oh that is beautiful we're talking about an hour and a half span that yeah. went from launch to when it fell back down. Right. And it landed in someone's backyard, you It said. did land in someone's in backyard. In Danbury, Connecticut. In Danbury, Connecticut. I walked up to his house, knocked on the door, and <laughs> told him who I was and what we were doing. And, and I mentioned that, and, and my balloon landed. <laughs> and he's like, you know, I thought I heard something out there. <laughs> Gara Shea provided us with this footage of the balloon's trip nearly 95,000 feet in the atmosphere. Six-year-old Caden Grant says he was mesmerized. It was so cool, and I thought I saw the big star. Oh, okay. And then did you hear the balloon landed in someone's backyard? Yeah, I yeah. thought he was in trouble. <laughs> Luckily, no one was in trouble. <laughs> it's those simple moments making the world of a difference in these kids' lives. In East Harlem, Elijah Westbrook, CBS 2 News.